Hello, SoCap. We're so glad you're here. I'm just curious, how many of you are here for the very first time? Wow, welcome. We hope that you are going to have a splendid time and become a part of this amazing SoCap family. If you haven't caught on to this yet, this is our 10th annual SoCap event held right here at Fort Mason, and we're so excited about that. In these years since 2008, so much has changed. The world has changed for the good because of so many initiatives and ideas and organizations, the work that you all have done and will continue to change because of the work that you are about to do. It has also changed for the not so good in so many ways, and some of that we can actually see evidenced outside our window with the haze that we see around us caused by the fires that are happening, the worst fire in California in modern history. There are people who are not here today because their homes and lives have been impacted by those fires, people whose homes have burned. We want to keep remembering them and the the people whose lives have been impacted in the hurricanes and in so many different ways. That's why we're here. We're here to do the work that needs to be done to change the world for good. And we're so glad that you have come to join us. We hope that while you are here that you will get the knowledge that you need to help you do your work better, that you will find those partners, the people you did not yet know, someone who will give you that spark of inspiration or just that right connection you need to do your work even better. And we also hope to inspire you. And we're so glad to bring this first group of folks out to the stage for some of that inspiration. The woman who is coming out to the stage has been a mentor to, to me and many, many, many others. She was a mentor to Tim Freundlich and Kevin Jones as they started their first uh, fund with Good Capital and a mentor as we launched SOCAP in 2008. And she will tell us about some of the work that she's doing now with Culture Bank and introduce us to some new friends who will talk to us about, about ways that we can make our lives more delightful and more impactful. So Penelope, Penelope Douglas, can you come to the stage? Here she is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> um, I am Three so minutes. excited to be here, and I was saying to somebody, can thank you. Can, can you hear me all right? Better? <laughs> so excited to be here. Is that sounding all right? Is it sounding all right? I only have this mic. How am I sounding now? I'll be subdued. I'm very excited to be here, but I can't speak any more loudly than this in order not to cause interference. Today's theme, the theme of the opening plenary, is we are here and we are inspired. And so, of course, what I took a minute to think about before today, by the way, when you come to the opening plenary, I don't know how you all feel, but I always feel a little bit like I've just landed on Mars again for the first time, even though it's the 10th time. So we're all sort of getting acquainted again, and I really uh, anticipate that feeling, but it always makes me a little nervous. But the theme of today is we're here and we're inspired. And I took a moment over the last couple of days to think about, think a little more deeply, think a little more deeply, think a lot more deeply about what gives me inspiration? What allows me to be inspired? And I arrived at something very simple, but in truth, it's something I don't think about as much as I probably should. And I realize that the reason that I'm inspired is because I know I'm beloved. I'm inspired because I know I'm beloved. And, and yet when I left Fort Mason yesterday after an event, I walked outside and immediately encountered people that I know do not feel beloved. And then I, of course, can think about the millions of people around the world who, who are not inspired, perhaps, and perhaps in part, that's because they or their communities do not feel beloved. I also have access and the opportunity to bring you assets of value that include my creativity as an artist and as a social entrepreneur. I get to collaborate 
I get to radically collaborate. I get to try to overcome my fear, which is a huge thing for me. I'm always thinking about trying to overcome my fear, and one of the ways that I do that is I try to use all my senses. So these are the things that I think about when I come to you starting off a plenary where the theme is we are here and we're inspired. It's both about my inspiration and also about what might be happening in the world that doesn't provide that. Um, I'm also here very, very excitedly to kick off the beginning of a spotlight series at SOCAP that is um, about something that is work that I'm doing now, and it's called Culture Bank. And uh, so I couldn't be more excited and proud to introduce our first session of our spotlight series on Culture Bank by introducing three phenomenal people, three globally renowned creative professionals.